In January at the Olympic test event in Pyeongchang, I crashed in the giant slalom race and re-injured my ACL. So I underwent reconstruction again and I'm going through the my second rehab process in two years. Unfortunately, it was a devastating blow for me, but I know that I'll be back fitter and stronger and ready for Pyeongchang next year. Yeah, hopefully get back on snow in July for the Australian winter, just back training and really easing into it and then back competing for the Northern Hemisphere season. Yeah, the last two years of injuries definitely puts a blow through your, through your system, but I guess, you know, that's life. It's unpredictable and you just have to keep going and pushing and believing in yourself and following the dream. I did all five events in Sochi. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll do that again in Pyeongchang. I think we'll see how I go, but I'm definitely focusing on the Alpine combined event. 15th at Sochi was my best result, and I'll definitely be looking to improve and better on that for the next games, of course. So leading into Pyeongchang, I'll be competing on the World Cup Tour in December and be ready to go come February. Pyeongchang, so the Alpine events are at Yongpyeong for the technical events and the speed events at Jongsong. I haven't been to Jongsong because I missed out on the World Cup. That was after my injury, unfortunately. But I've skied, I've skied and competed at Yongpyeong many times and it's such a steep hill and really technical and it'll be a really exciting event. The slalom event at Yongpyeong definitely suits my technique being so steep. That'll definitely be my advantage against the other competitors. My goals for Pyeongchang is definitely focusing on the Alpine combined and just go out there and ski as fast as I can.